Here we are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything and Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper. And when we returned to Italy, we converted our minivan Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. Please consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel to enjoy the adventures of a curious Italian couple. Wonderfully, it was super <laughs> cold. I like to sleep with a blanket on me. We would like to talk a little bit about where we are and about this lake. This lake is called Serponson and is a reservoir, an artificial lake in the departments of Haute Alps and Alpes de Haute Provence in southeast France and it's one of the largest in Western Europe. The lake was created to control water flow after disastrous floods caused severe damage and loss of life in 1843 and in 1856. The construction started in 1955 and was completed by 1961. The dam was constructed and the valley slowly became a lake, flooding some villages in the process. It's something that we have already seen last year when we visited in South Tyrol Lake Curon. It's the same, you know, they, they constructed a dam to form a lake and some villages that were built in the valley, they were flooded and everything disappeared. And in the same way as Couron Lake, that there is this church that submerged from the water, and you can admire just the tower, here we have a chapelle, Chapelle Saint-Michel, that was built in the 12th century on the top of the hill. And now the top of the hill is an island, so that's why you can admire this little chapelle on the island, and I hope that later on today we can admire from the coast, because only in winter time and in springtime you can walk and visit the island. The water of this lake is used for 16 hydroelectric power plants and also for agricultural purpose. This is a beautiful view of the lake and here you can see one of the dams. How was it? How oh, is it right now? And here we can spot the little island with the Chapelle Saint Michel.
stop on the side of the road to admire these peculiar rock formations. Oh, yes. How is the French pizza? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> we stop after lunch because we would like to take a nap. I would like to take a nap. We are in a kite surf spot. Windsurf and kite surf. I don't know if you can see, but there are a lot of kite surfers over there it's a paradise they say this location yes. here there is always wind uh, and uh, the lake is always flat uh, so it's perfect uh, for this kind of sports so i will let you rest i will go for a walk uh, okay enjoy your rest uh, love you ciao love baby, you too. Ciao, baby. I have to change myself because I was about to sit and when I sit <laughs> this happened so I need to change myself I destroyed completely over here I don't know what happened so I came running here because it was an epic fail uh, attempt uh, to sit down on the beach he told me Sarah filmed me, something terrible happened. I <laughs> say what happened? I was trying to sleep. <laughs> we are making our way slowly back to Italy and we are driving uh, towards Briançon. Yes. From Embrun, Lake Serponçon to Briançon and then we will cross to Italy. But we are taking it slowly, we are enjoying the road. The views everywhere are breathtaking. We should come back here because there is so much to see and to do. Yes, yeah, so we need to explore a little bit more this area because yeah. we never did it. And just driving on the road, we saw some hot springs, uh, some uh, places that we would like to visit in the future. So A silver cave. Yeah. And beautiful hiking trails, the Alps everywhere. It's very very cool and I think that now in summer you have a certain landscape and then in winter here it will be totally different because it will be covered by snow. We are back in Italy! <laughs> Good evening beautiful people! Not far from the road we have found this amazing boondocking spot! Luigi is very happy, Luca too! <laughs> There is a river there. Tomorrow we will explore the river. Now then it's already dark. We have a beautiful forest. The river, beautiful. A tree house for the kids. <laughs> uh, so tomorrow we will for show Luca. you that. And uh, let me show. We are ready on the 
night mood uh, with the long bed because we are about to watch a movie and after the movie we will cook something for dinner relax a little bit the temperature here is perfect as you can see 21 degrees celsius inside and 17 degrees celsius outside so nice and chill we set up our table and our chairs our camping stove it's like flying back in time when we were boondocking in Canada, Alaska. Yes, yes even the trees, uh, the vegetation, uh, it reminds us uh, a little bit of Canada, Alaska, yeah, North America. Very beautiful. What do you think, guys? Is it a nice spot? And back to the rocks and the stones under the wheels. Uh. <laughs> You remember Sara? Yes, we are pro. Always matching the right size. <laughs> Even with Lucky Liu it was always like this. So let's hope tomorrow is not raining so we can show you this uh, beautiful place. Tomorrow should be a very beautiful day, sunny yes. day. Yes! But let's see. Yes! Someone came here and they made a they fire. Created a, a fire pit. Yes, what I don't like is those glasses. Yeah, glasses bottles, and uh, also some papers around. Yeah. It's not good. We will try to clean this place and leave it better than we found it. Ooh, nice ring. <laughs> <That's laughs> <right, done>. mm. <laughs> this will be our last night before we are heading back home to Lucky Land. So we can show you the garden, how everything is going but we will enjoy the last night here and today it was not difficult to find a spot I have to say it was better yeah. than the previous days Something that we noticed uh, yeah. from the last uh, two episodes uh, in France uh, is that many signs uh, in touristic places uh, are only in French uh, we were hoping that they had signs also in, in English We need to search everything online and then you can find some website where they tell you the history or they explain you in English what you can see and what you will see yeah so Otherwise, that yeah. wasn't uh, so tourist friendly I think but uh, otherwise uh, it was amazing and really van life camper friendly yes. you can find boondocking spots everywhere it's not forbidden you cannot find signs where they say no camper allowed maybe in some places but yes. in nature you can find really a lot of a lot of wild spots without without difficulties so yeah this but was... we have seen so many van lifers uh, rv uh, motorhome uh, people just enjoying there that yeah. it makes you feel like a welcome a little bit it's not like uh, okay don't come here yes. no the opposite uh, we felt safe uh, and uh, yeah, it's nice to see that uh, a lot of people are living uh, that kind of lifestyle you don't feel wrong in a yeah. place you can you can feel you can enjoy this type of lifestyle Turn the light off, please.
Water is boiling. Good morning. Good morning, Sarita. I dream uh, about uh, something like this uh, when I was uh, a kid. Uh, I would love to have one. Me too. To play with the view of the river over there. I even you know, in the middle of the forest, these little tree houses with the ladders and then the slides. It's probably every kid's dream. Can I go up there, Sara? Sure. You want? Even if I say no, you will do it anyways, so... You think it will hold me? I don't know, it doesn't seem so... Strong. Yeah. Better not to risk. Oh, this is a wise Luca. <laughs> My little monkey. It's better not to risk because they are quite thin. We can build one if you want at Lucky Land. Yes! I want to build one. So when we will have kids, uh, they will play with it. Probably we should build it with the kids uh, when we will have kids so they can yeah. enjoy all the process. Yeah, true. They can choose uh, the location. Okay, do you want to go and check out the river? Yes. Good morning, guys. I'm feeling better today. I'm so happy. I don't have my migraine anymore. And Last night was probably the coldest night in Luigi. We didn't install the heater at the end. We said we will use Luigi only during summertime. But in the mountains we are 1,300 meters above sea level, so it's pretty high. It was really, really cold. Uh, I, I didn't expect uh, the temperature to go to 4 degrees Celsius. It dropped like crazy. And it's summer. But uh, we, we definitely need to install the heater if we plan to go in the mountains uh, yes. or travel during uh, colder temperatures. Yeah. We love the time that is coming, September, October, November. It's our favorite probably to travel with Luigi, especially in south of Italy. Thank you, Quinto, it's helping me. Were you able to film with a drone that on the top of the mountain? No, not up there. I don't know if you can spot it, guys, but on the top of the mountain you see, you notice this kind of weird constructions. They are towers. They were built during the, the war. It is the border between Italy and France. Uh in a van. <laughs> Someone told me <laughs> during the live stream. <laughs> Very glamorous. Today we are driving that way. That way? Yeah. So Lucky Land is that direction? Lucky Land is that direction, then on the right. arrive in a very special place that is called Exil, the village of Exil. And we can admire from here Il Forte di Exil. The Fort of Exil is an important example of French and Savoy fortified architecture. Unfortunately now the fort is closed till the end of December. Inside you can visit the fort for free and then there are two museums. This is really one of the most ancient fort built in Susa Valley and we really recommend to come here to visit this fort if you are coming in Piedmont, Piedmont region in Italy. From the drone footage you can see, you will see now the, the fort 
from above and the village of Exil. When you visit ancient villages, you will see that the roofs are made in loza. Loza is a kind of flagstone and it's very typical and very beautiful to see and very expensive nowadays. If we are curious to know what this symbol that you can see from above represents, it's a sign, a symbol that was designed by Pistoletto, Michelangelo Pistoletto, and it's called the Third Paradise and symbolizes the peace. When it will open again, uh, we'll hopefully come back and visit uh, and show you inside the castle. But for now, it's closed. <laughs> Let's see if we can still find something open to eat, to have lunch. A profumo. We are in Bussoleno and we are searching for a osteria, a kind of restaurant. Let's see if we can find something open. You've arrived. Anyway, they have some pizza there. In <laughs> we don't find anything else. Oh no, it's closed. Okay, also the second spot, this was beautiful. This was was super f hard to find us. Yeah, well. we got lost a few times. Okay. You can only walk here. As you can see, a car cannot fit through no. these uh, roads. Uh, well, probably just horses uh, were meant to do. Come here. Put your hand inside, Luca. <laughs> 14th century. Casa Aschieri. And this is holding the entire weight of this house. Yeah. Look at the wood, the Sara, beautiful. Yeah. La bottega degli sposi. When everything is open here, should be really... Ah, here, casa scary. Is that one over there? Wow, look at the pictures of the time. Yeah. 1887. Okay, let's try this one as well. Hopefully. Cascina Roland. We are too late. Nada. In Italy, it's like this, in the small villages, in the small towns, restaurants close at 2, 2.30 p.m. and it's always better to reserve a table. Yeah, you need to call and uh, in advance in advance uh, and book yeah. a table, otherwise uh, mm. it's like this. If you are not in Rome, Torino, Milano, Venezia, then where you can find restaurants that are open all day long, then it's really difficult to eat at 2.30. But we are learning some places that we can try out in the future. We weren't lucky, we found everything close or it was too late, so we decided to drive to Luckyland. And we arrive at Luckyland! Yes, we will eat something here and in the next episode... We will show you around the garden, we will show you how everything is going with our vegetables, with uh, Luckyland. So, we'll Stay see tuned. you next Sunday. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, remember to smash the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video. And please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It's very important to us. So thank you to everybody that is supporting us. Thank you. The Italian words for today's video are... Aperto. Open. Chiuso. Closed. Vorrei prenotare un tavolo. I would like to book a table. Aperto. Open. Chiuso. Closed. Vorrei prenotare un tavolo. I would like to book a table. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us. We hope you enjoy this uh, little van life adventure in France. And we will see you next Sunday. Stay tuned. We love you. Ciao, And remember, people. la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. Ciao. Riding faster, faster than my Can't stop
to breathe.